This is not a drill. We are at condition 10. What's up, guys? King Rush right here. Today I'm back with a new video. I got the thrift shop store and I scored big. A whole bunch of vintage diecast stuff from this case and it is full. So let's sit down and take a look at what I got. Okay, the camera has been set up. Let's go right, dig right into it. So the first mall is going to be this uh, white road bus. This is the circus mall. You can see this one has the crappy wheels on it. When the main thread started to move away from these um, amazing red wheels. Let's put the trucks on the side here for a comparison. Here we go. So back in the 80s when they released the 600 series, Majorette used to have these amazing two-piece red wheels. But uh, slowly but surely they moved away from these amazing wheels to these crappy wheels. Back in the 2000s because these were too costly to make. And there's also another category of wheels that looks similar to these. So they put these on the 600 series and it looks crap. Anyway, so this is the first truck. This one's missing the front wheel. Still have the uh, the cage on the back, which is good because these are always missing. Normally, you always get only the uh, flat bed. The truck still have these mud flaps, so it's a good truck for the parts. Next, next one is the Series 300. This is the Majorette Mercedes truck with the uh, car hauler. This one's totally out of scale, obviously. If you put the uh, for example, this Greyhound bus Hot Wheels on the top it looks totally awful. But the model itself is pretty cool. And this one's in pretty decent condition. And then Matchbox Convoy Fire Trailer. It's missing the uh, part of the ladder. And fortunately, I never found the cab that goes with this one. I wonder if I have a spare one in my loose. Whoops, hopefully this one will not collapse. Anyway, this one's a junk truck. This gun one is going to be uh, used for parts, especially the um, the wheels and the chassis, because uh, this this one's missing the nose, it's missing the exhaust, missing also a part of the uh, air cleaner. So not very good. This one's pretty nice. This is a Majorette Chevrolet Impala. This is from the 3000 series, and surprisingly, this one still have the little antenna on the back which is really rare this one has opening doors and there is surprisingly the 164 scale equivalent of this same car this one has different livery but I do have a highway patrol car in the slot also to show you so this one's gonna go right into my uh, display case and we have a matchbox Dodge Charger Police car, this one's from 2006, I believe. Same deal with this uh, Sheriff Ford Crown Victoria. Not too bad condition. Another major yet, this one's a cowl truck. And uh, this one still has um, this piece here. So put in the box, very rare to find with still this piece in the bed. So pretty happy with this one. Vintage Hot Wheels Red Line. This is the Python. In the not so good condition, but uh, I need this car to complete my Sweet 16 original Red Line collection, so I'm happy to have it. And this one's probably going to be a candidate for a restoration in a future. The future. Uh, Max Superliner Dump Truck. This one's mostly going to be used for a custom project. Even though this one is uh, still have all of this of his parts. Same deal with this Bernard dump truck. Majorette, this one's very vintage. You can tell by the very old wheels on it. Pretty cool truck. Actually, I have one here currently in restoration on my work table. Okay, next uh, we have a boat here. It goes with this truck. I don't have the trailer. It's, uh, GMC Brigadier. Let's put this one aside. We'll take a look at this uh, Greyhound bus earlier. This one got uh, repainted completely, so this one's most likely going to be 
for a project. Hot Wheels Dodge Challenger. This one's pretty recent. Nothing big deal for this one. Uh, it's a Willy Chevrolet Caprice Police. I don't think I have the slivery. So a lot of different variation and uh, colors to collect of this one. Uh, Matchbox Hosh Kosh Ladder Truck. In white, missing uh, part of the ladder. James Bond uh, Lotus Esprit Submarine. This one is from Corgi Jr. Pretty decent condition. Uh, a pair of uh, Hazard Squad. These are most likely going to be used for parts. Uh, real toy ambulance. Majorette Mercedes Cab Over. From the 300 series. A nice Yachting GMC pickup truck. Uh, Chevy pickup truck. But even though they are pretty much the same. This one's in very nice condition. This one's going to be in my display wall. Or case, should I say. Uh, this one's the KMR truck. I was not sure if I have this one already. Uh, this comes with a, an international Transtar truck. Uh, probably Yatning. This one's missing a leg on the trailer. Uh, Hot Wheels uh, Ford. Doesn't say on the base. Probably in the 1930s Ford Model T or Model A. Hot Wheels uh, Long Gone. But I think this guy also have a different name back in the 80s. This one's going to be for parts because it's pretty much junk. And this one did surprise me. This one was still in the package. This is a real toy truck. Uh, I think this one was used to be sold at Toys R Us back in the 1980s or 90s. Probably more 90s in the early 2000s. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of uh, different trucks to collect. I do have one other in my uh, part here. Bin. As you can see, this is the uh, Fonda Drink truck. This one on the corner. And uh, this orange one is going to be this guy here. So interesting. Am I going to keep the package and track the other truck if I get them in the future? This one is this guy here. Still have the uh, dolly, which is interesting. Okay, next. Oh yeah, remember these cool trucks here. This is a Corgi Junior, but I have three different other manufacturers with the same style of truck. And they are right there. This is a Tomica, the green one. Made in Japan. So a very, very old truck. And I also have, here we go, the Matchbox Lesney Edition. So essentially three manufacturers and essentially almost the same truck which is pretty interesting this is going to be a nice pair for my vintage truck collection Hot Wheels garbage truck uh, probably based on the Peterbilt dump truck, uh, garbage truck anyway and a GMC Wrecker matchbox this one's uh, have a broken light bar otherwise it's in good condition, not too bad I think we didn't take a look at this major red truck earlier. This is a Kenworth. This one's a nice one because I have the opening hood. Didn't find the trailer that comes with it, but that's okay. Anyway, so there's that. Another major red. This one's the what is this? This Chrysler. Chrysler 1308. Also says Simca on the base. This one's pretty nice condition, the disintegrating the uh, age of the car. Opening hatch, made in France. Another Tamika, a school bus. I almo almost missed this one. So, unusual. Well, obviously, it's not in the, the best condition, but that's okay. Same for this uh, major Toyota truck. This one have an opening hood, but it seems to be... Oh, there we go. Still have the mirrors, though, which is pretty cool. They're almost always bust off on these trucks. Pretty rare to find them with still them on. 
hair splitter, also called the uh, Volkswagen Golf. This one's okay, it's missing the tampos, but still have the spare wheel on the top and the rack. Another Max Supriner, measure it. This one's gonna be again for the parts. Same for a lot of these uh, Majorette 600 series truck. This white, it's not too bad, it's missing corner of the bumper. And then we have this weird guy. Consolidated Fright Turi CF. Uh, this is the only trailer I found with this dolly. I did not find any cab or any other trailer that goes with. So I'm gonna have to do some research for this one. A nice matchbook, super fast, uh, Dodge dump truck. This one is very, very cool. Like it. It's in pretty nice condition though, too. I think I also have the older one. Ah, uh, actually it's missing a broken wheel in the back. Nah, that's too bad. Hopefully I can fix that one. But I also have the uh, more vintage one. It's all red with the more classic uh, matchbox wheels. The one similar to the major that I showed you earlier. Here's another Yatming. This one is the uh, tow truck with the fire sticker. This one's mint. Pretty cool condition. This one's gonna go in my uh, case. And then we have a couple of these uh, GMC Brigadier. All gonna be used for project. This truck is junk. I'm just gonna use the sleeper for one of these Brigadier. Then we have this uh, Matchbox Chevy van, not so old, but in okay condition. I don't think I have this one in my collection. Majorette NASA Land Rover. Uh, this one's supposed to have a light bar on the top. It's probably uh, fall off for some reason. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. This one's a pretty weird one. This is, the, I believe, a Fiat. No, it's a, actually it's a Austin Mini. Metro, made in Great Britain. I've never seen this car before, so this is why I I picked it up. The, the scale is pretty weird. It's pretty big for a small car, especially if you compare it to this uh, vintage Matchbox VW bus. But anyway, this is the kind of car that you don't see too often, so I picked it up. And there's also another very weird car that I picked up, and it is this guy here. This is the NSU. RO80, a very, very weird car, and this one have an opening hood, so pretty cool. And uh, I will safely keep this car in my collection of vintage vehicle. Another weird one is this uh, fire truck. Uh, this one seems to be a Volvo on the front grille, and it is a Norev. Again, a brand that we don't see too often here in Canada and this one says uh, made in France just like the vintage Majorette and this one's a newbie whoops uh, don't fall too far here trucks anyway Chevrolet Silverado this one's a newbie another holdy the um, Majorette this one is the Chrysler also the 180 a nice uh, metallic green and still have the tow hitch in the back matchbox super fast mercury cougar with the big blower in the front and this one just says made in hong kong i believe the base it's interesting so the little porsche 911 with the opening doors steering wheel is kind of weird it's kind of too much on the uh, middle of the dashboard. And uh, this one also has some insert for the headlights. That's pretty interesting. I think I've never seen that before on a cheapo car. Uh, hot, uh, Matchbox hot rod with the light bar in the their livery. And this one's a Matchbox mission copter. This one's far, far from a... Uh, a few military vehicles I acquire, like this dump truck from Majorette. This is the Scania. Also have this uh, Chevy. It's missing the 
gun on the back. And we have this other Matchbox vehicle missing the uh, rocket. Uh, Matchbox tank, the Abram. Major Red Chevrolet Impala, military police. Seeing better days. Our military. A weird Matchbox Jeep. Airport show. Chevy bus. And this one's a Volvo. Volvo, uh, probably a troop transport vehicle. Okay, a bucket. Two fire chief for the parts. This one's very unfortunate. This is the Dodge Charger matchbox. The orange pill. This one's supposed to be white, as you can see underneath the body, but somebody repainted it in the gray. Did a good job though, because the tampons are pretty good condition, but it's unfortunate. And two cheap trucks. Again, these are going to be used for project. Another military vehicle. This one's the. Uh, I'm wondering if this is supposed to be a fire truck for the airport. Put it here and start the running out of room. A nice Chevy Blazer, Yatming. This one have opening doors on each side. Plastic base. Another one for the parts. A major trailer, still have the back opening part, pretty cool, another major, the Porsche 920, 944 I believe, yep, yeah, 924, I think this is a wheel I don't have, the other one I have had the three spoke, the Yat Ming Jeep, convertible without the doors, uh, here's the Chevrolet Impala, Highway Patrol, not exactly the same as the uh, 3000 series, but pretty close. And they're white, the Circus, it's missing the top of the exhaust and the um, trailer. Two Hot Wheels, Peterbilt truck, the Shell truck, I'm pretty happy, I don't have this one in my collection. This one I have already a dozen of those. But it was in nice condition, and for a dollar, why not? Just picked it up. Mercedes fire truck. Still have the vintage stickers on the side. Nice condition too. The Blues Mobile. The scale is pretty bad, but uh, don't see these cars too often. And General Lee. Still have the uh, stickers, and this one's the old one. So, pretty happy with this one. Also, a new casting for my collection this Yat Ming uh, Fox Body Mustang. Then, I have this one. I almost confused it first with the play art, but uh, I saw the wheels. I say, oh, it's Yat Ming. Same Yat Ming for the uh, Lamborghini Miura with the Italian flag. So I have two samples of this Fire Chief. This is a Corgi Jr. This one's missing the cherry. But they're both in the good condition. Uh, Matchbox Super Fast Sab. Sorry folks, my camera cut off. Overheats. Uh, next we have this uh, Mercury Matchbox Super Fast. Uh, yeah, this one's a different casting because the tailgate does not drop. And it's a different shade of green actually, also from the regular one. It's more of apple green than the uh, lime green. Or more this green, actually. And this one, Mercury, uh, Mercury Cougar from uh, Whiz Wheel Corgi Jr. So the police version. I don't know if this car is supposed to have stickers on the side, but anyway. Uh, Matchbox Ferrari Testarossa, always a nice car. This one has some big suspension. Uh, Matchbox Peterbilt uh, cement mixer. Come over here, flower. 
I'm filming a video. A pair of uh, flatbed trailers from Majorette. Probably goes with these uh, spare trucks I have here. Oh yeah, this one's a Tamika actually. A fire truck. This one's made in Vietnam, so it's probably a more recent Tamika. Still interesting. The spark is plastic. The rest is diecast. The first one for me, this is the major attractor, but this one has some uh, unusual stickers on it. Pretty interesting. This one's missing the um, an accessory in the back. I don't remember because they have some different accessories that come with it. But anyway, Matchbox Fire Rescue Ambulance. Still have doors. Paint is terrible, but uh, anyway. Yeah, I mean. Dump truck, same casting as the uh, tow truck that we saw earlier with a different accessory. Actually, this one has a metal base and the metal grill. This one's plastic. So, interesting variation. This one's very cool. This is a um, container helicopter. This has a little gear on the side that makes you rotate the blade. Fortunately, this one's missing one. And also I have a opening compartment on the back. I think this is detached, but uh, since this is a very whole helicopter, I'm afraid to break it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. This is a baggage, baggage um, trailer for a airport buggy. Uh, Matchbox Convoy. This is the DAF. It's missing the... Uh, trailer and the boat that's supposed to go with. oh there's the light bar for the Inaza Land Rover I have to put this back on later on and to finish the video got some more trucks more Mac for the parts and we got a bunch of these uh, majorette cab over all are gonna be used for parts whoops are to for completing my uh, collection of the trailers that are alone and no trackers oh yeah I also forget to show, show you the the best parts the best model We've got this uh, minty Texaco trailer and tanker truck this is a can work same casting as the other one but this one does not have the opening hood this is the retool casting that major released a few years later but still have the red wheels and this one's the uh, transitional piece trailer with the cheapo wheels I talked to you before and this trailer also have some variation with uh, the decos also the hands can be black and be uh, gray or white or whatever so there's this one and we also have a pair of um, Canadian tire trucks this one's the first one. This is the uh, Kenworth cab over with the uh, tanker. Looks fantastic. This one's the more recent version because it has the plastic base instead of the die cast one. And the other truck is this guy. This uh, Kenworth W900. I hold on it with the uh, regular dry box trailer. Pretty cool condition. These are going to go straight into my display walls. Because they are so beautiful and I'm very very happy with those so that's it guys that's all I got for you today I hope you enjoy this uh, short video I'm gonna sort these and uh, take pictures of them before I put it in my display case and I will see you in the next one